my gangsters! Yo guys, what's up? This is Dave, the Open Source Gangster here. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to play StarCraft on an Android device. Now to do this, all you need to have is a copy of StarCraft patched to the latest version of 1.16.1.1. And that is pretty much it. So, let's get this started. Open Source Gangster, hey! Alright, so what you want to do is transfer your whole StarCraft game to your Android device. So go to your StarCraft folder. Now this can be located in C program files. I just have this in my downloads folder. But you want to take your whole entire folder, copy it, and paste it to your Android device. Afterwards, you want to take that profile that you downloaded earlier, and you want to put it inside that StarCraft folder so it's residing in the same place with the StarCraft executable. So I have my StarCraft executable and I will drag and drop this here. And as you can see, I already have the profiler there in the same folder with the StarCraft executable. All right, so now what you wanna do is download an app called Winning Leader Beta. It's available free within the Google Play Store. Now, Winning Leader is basically an app that allows us to emulate old DirectX games uh, made for older versions of Windows. So it's kinda like a Windows emulator mixed with a DirectX emulator, pretty cool. So opening it up, alright, so you're probably not going to see it saying StarCraft. Opening up, what you want to do is go to the wrench and go to scan SD card for programs. If you place your game on the internal SD, go to this option. If you place your game on your external physical SD card, then go to this option and then hit the location of the physical SD card. I'll place my uh, internal SD card, so I'm going to go to scan SD for programs. And then it's going to found, say found program, and for me it's StarCraft right there. And I can hit start and launch. And we are right now in StarCraft. Alright, so here you go. Um, before we begin and get to the good stuff, let's configure some options. So what we're going to do is hit the back button and go to control widgets. Um, I'm first going to adjust the display box because I prefer it center. Then I'm actually going to, can we do this? I want to add a keyboard pop-up. So I'm going to do, click that. And we're going to add a keyboard pop-up. Can we move this around? Let's see. I should have added it right over there. Uh, oh well, I'll keep it right there. So right there and kind of, uh, here we go. Can we move that? Great. So right over there I added a keyboard pop-up. That way we can actually have control to pop up the keyboard. So I'm going to hit the back button again. And go to save. That way, as you see right there, we have a keyboard pop-up button, which is awesome. So let's get to this. Single player, StarCraft Original. We can hit the keyboard pop-up. What's your name? I was going to say Dave. OK. And OK. So I must say, performance is pretty smooth on here. Um, I mean, for an emulator, this is working out extremely well. Like I said, once again, for an emulator, this is working extremely well. Performance is smooth, the sound is great. Okay, skip tutorial. So as you see, performance is pretty smooth, no lag in it whatsoever. I'm going to stop right now, because <laughs> I have no idea how to really play this game. So I'm going to stop pretending like I know actually how to play this. But you kind of get the point, performance is smooth, everything's as you expect it, it to be. Um, and it's a, it's pretty neat, it's an awesome thing to do right now. Alright guys, so that's how to play StarCraft on your Android device. Once again, thanks to an app called WinLater, which over time will support more games and it will give you a better emulating experience and this will be an awesome thing to do. So thanks guys for watching and tune in for another Galvanizing video. Thanks.